We're here. <laughs> we are here at the 2300 Arena. This is your host, Candace Cordelia, at Pro, well, with Pro Wrestling Illustrated, but at the 2300 Arena with the one and only and lovely Mackenzie. Hello. How are you? Mackenzie I'm Mitchell. so good. I'm so good. I'm excited to be here. Um, I'm obviously in costume because I'm Scarlet Sublime for the last match. Um, and I don't know if you can see my boots. Let me. Yeah. They're a little bit. Oh, there they go. You can, the you can see them in the threads. Yes. Exactly. Oh, we're going to get into that. Yes. I've um, been watching. So I wanted to be as Scarlet Sublime. <laughs> my outfit, you know, my jewelry, my shoes, everything everything for this interview. So I'm glad to be here. I'm so glad to finally meet you, Mackenzie. I know. Nice I, to meet you as well. Thank you. I mean, I'm a fan. You know, I've been watching you since TNA, to wow. be quite honest. I've seen you on television doing your thing as a broadcaster. And now you're here as Scarlet Sublime at the famed ECW Arena. What does it mean to be here in Philadelphia, my hometown, and to be a part of the Last Match musical? Oh, it's so cool to be doing these iconic arenas, such as 2300. We've got Center Stage in Atlanta, which is more of a musical venue. Um, we did House of Glory last night in New York. And so that was really cool just to be in these... I said iconic these these venues that hold so much history mm -hmm. um of those that came before us and kind of paved the way and then to be doing something extremely different and extremely cool with the last match there's never been anything like this experience done before of it being professional wrestling and musical theater and rock music all combined mm -hmm. into one show um so i'm really thrilled to be bringing the last match to philly specifically here tonight yeah and this is a new venture for you with the acting i mean is this something that you can see yourself doing more of as time goes on I think it all really plays hand in hand. You know, a lot of the times where I'm on, I was doing backstage interviews yes. and things, it's a lot of acting. So at, at the same time, you do have to listen and respond. And as an interviewer, you know, your mm -hmm. job is to ask those questions, ask the hard questions. But I think some of the dialogue is also acting and what mm. you're doing when you're on television. And so it kind of plays hand in hand with this, with the last match specifically, I'm just turning it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just having a little bit, I'm really immersing myself into the character of Scarlet Sublime. It's set in the 1980s. So that's the big hair, the shoulder pads, all of that, the aesthetic that goes with the 1980s mm -hmm. back in the day. Um, so that's kind of how I'm, I'm acting and how I'm bringing that character to life with mm -hmm. the last match. Lovely. And tell us a little bit more about Scarlet Sublime without giving us the full on <laughs> For those who might yes. not be able to see. How much time do you have, right? <laughs> um, no, Scarlet Sublime, she is your your play-by-play -play commentator. Obviously, mm -hmm. a woman in the play-by-play -play role doesn't necessarily ex – didn't exist back then specifically, mm -hmm. and it still doesn't completely exist totally today. You've seen the likes of Renee Young, Beth Phoenix, Mickey James even, who's playing um, the mother in yes. the last match. You've seen some pave the way for women in the industry at the commentary table. But Scarlett, she's like, she's female empowered. She loves to stand up for women and what women stand for in the professional wrestling business, a male dominated industry. Mm. So yes. she's like the ball and strike. She's at the commentary desk, just really throwing up the softball for her commentary partner, Strut and Jimmy Sutton. Yes. So we're a little bit of like the gorilla monsoon, the Bobby the Brain Heenan, if you will. Mm. So he's making some really outrageous comments and I'm keeping everything on track. Um, but she's she's for girl power. She loves just like bringing that femininity to the show mm -hmm. and to be able to to have lead mm. as, a, as a lead voice in the background of the last match. That's really cool. I mean, did you get any feedback from your husband, Vic Joseph, for the commentary desk? I have to ask. Of course. <laughs> so I'm taking a page out of my husband's book a little yes. bit here. And I was kind of nervous because mm. this is a role that I've not necessarily tapped into with being a commentator. I've always been a host or a backstage mm -hmm. interviewer or a ring announcer. Mm -hmm. and I've never done commentary. So for mm -hmm. me, it's a lot of learning experience. But mm -hmm. Vic and I actually called this show together when I was home oh. for a hot minute during rehearsals. Yes. I'm like, can you just watch the film with me mm -hmm. and call the match and give me some some expertise here? And huh. so he did. So he actually has helped me a lot in some of this role of commentary, um, which I'm so lucky. Mm -hmm. I'm so thankful for that, right? Like yeah, we yeah. try to not mix work life and professional life too much, but it's kind of inevitable in situations as well. Absolutely. Shout out to Vic because that's He's amazing. The He's that's, truly the best. That's awesome that you can go to him and say, hey, can you help me out with this and vice versa if need be. I love that. Yeah, that's the pros of, of dating the same or marrying the same person <laughs> in the business is yeah. we understand what it is. Like mm. the lifestyle, the grind, being on tour, being away um having these live shows every night like mm -hmm. he understands it i understand it and so 
we always will tell each other have a good show. And so on Tuesdays, we've been running shows. So he, I'll tell him have a good show. He'll tell me have a good show. And it's kind of like there's synergy there. We're doing mm. the same role essentially, but in different ways. Yes, yes. And you just mentioned a key word, the grind. And that's something that you're used to, just grinding and going on tour, yeah. whether it was with TNA or WWE. But now you're doing it for the last match. Yes. Talk to us about the differences and the similarities going on tour for something such as this, where it's a musical. Sure, this is the longest time I've been away from my home mm. um, because we've been on tour for now, I think we're at week, gosh, are we heading into week six? So I've so. been away since WrestleMania here in Philly. Wow. So I've been <laughs> gone away from my house. It's like, what do you pack? How do mm. you survive out of two suitcases? Mm. A lot of the times at WWE or, or Impact TNA, we'd be gone for extensive of time, maybe a weekend mm -hmm. or a week at the most. But then for this, we've been away for six weeks, wow. which is really hard. And it's mm -hmm. challenging on your body, on your vocal cords, mm -hmm. on just getting up and doing a different show and, and being there for the audience, right? Because you want to be performing for an audience and giving them your best show. Um, but me and Mickey James, um, Bull James, mm -hmm. and... Yes. Um, Michaela, that's playing Fabulous Miss Jenny, we together have been driving this Dodge Ram throughout the okay. tour. So we've okay. been going from Vermont to Albany wow. to New York to here in a Dodge Ram, if you can believe Mickey James Woo. driving this Dodge Ram. <laughs> all of us piled in with our suitcases in the back. And so we've had a lot of fun with that too. So. Love it. Love the road trip. Are you going to have like a vlog showing all of the adventures? So we actually do. We've been like, we have a GoPro. So we've mm. been documenting the Glam Ram is what we call yes. it. The Glam Ram with Bull James. And so that's really funny because it's the girls like girling. Yes. And then Bull's just like, <laughs> but also he's kind of been like spilling the tea as we've been along the way too. So that'll be fun. I know we're filming a docu-series for the last match. Mm. So some of that original content will be put into the docu-series right. as well. I There's the exclusive. An exclusive right, scoop. there you go. That's what we do at PWI. And speaking of Ms. Mickey James, I mean icon she's playing the mother yes. in this and i think that's such a fitting title a fitting role what is it like working with her for this musical so mickey actually recommended me to be scarlet sublime mm -hmm. and we had not really truly worked together like we knew each mm -hmm. other obviously people in wrestling all know each other yes um but we hadn't had a chance to really sit down and like hang out and be friends mm -hmm. and then matt cardona and mickey james both reiterated that i should be scarlet sublime so the director jeremiah james had called me and he's like okay listen i think you should be scarlet because Mickey had said you should be Scarlet, Matt as well. Um, and so Mickey, once we finally got to like get to know each other and hang out and have some girl chats and get wine mm. and all the things, um, I'm so thankful for her on this tour, just to learn from her first and foremost, um, but to also pick her brain on things mm. and to have a friend here on the road, right? Yes. Like you're away from your family, you're away from your, your kids, your pets, your whatever. So we've really been leaning into each other on this tour just to kind of stay sane throughout the entire run if you will absolutely absolutely you know we got to talk threads i mean we mentioned it oh. a little bit and i love your show on youtube Thank you. it's amazing love fashion myself so i would like to know is this a look that you had in mind or how did that work out was there just sure. a synergy with say a costume designer or was it all this is me, this is Scarlett, yes. we're going with it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that about Threads because it's been a passion project of mine. I love the fashion as aspect to mm -hmm. professional wrestling, just style and fashion in general. Um, with my particular outfit, mm -hmm. Larissa Miranda is a costume designer. Okay. Um, and so she styled me in this. But the ironic thing about this is I've worn the bodysuit version of this dress ah. um, on NXT television before. So really? I actually okay. had picked this for my wardrobe before. Okay. And then when she showed me this dress, I was like, oh my gosh, I've already worn this once. So now I get to wear <laughs> the dress version and it's so comfortable. It's so me. It looks um, And amazing. I had showed off my boots a little bit yes. too. They are like, I don't know if you can, you can see how far <laughs> oh my I can God, pull my I legs know. here. I was like, there, there we you go. go. It's like Gorgeous. lightning bolts. It's pink. Oh it's my blue. Gosh. It's rhinestones. It's glittery. And every time at the end of the show, mm -hmm. someone will say to me, Okay, those boots are amazing. Where'd you get they those are. boots? So they I, are. fun fact, I get to keep them at the end of the tour. So I'm so thankful. Jealous. I'm Jealous. so thankful. Oh yes. my goodness. And we are thankful for you, Mackenzie. Thank you. It's so great <laughs> finally meeting you. You as and well. Getting, thank you and getting to see you in the show. I'm super pumped and excited. And for all of you watching, if you are going to see the show later on, I believe it runs up until the end of the month, maybe a little bit after, run. Check out the dates, Come see us. go on the website. You don't want to miss this because it is fantastic. And 
I know everyone, including Mackenzie, would love to see you. Yes, yes. We, we, we look forward to seeing you down the road, and you'll be in for a treat. I promise you that. Absolutely. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Mackenzie, for being Thanks, here. Girl. You're welcome, and we'll see you next time.